All right, guys, what we're going to do right now is flash the phone back to its stock ROM. I want you to keep note that my antivirus is off and my SD card and my SIM card have both been removed from my phone already, which is right here. And we're going to need two things. We're going to need the hard SPL3 and the T-Mobile 2.13 ROM, which is a ROM that's being shipped out with all HD2 right now. If you don't have the hard SPL3, you could always find it on xdadevelopers.com. I'll provide you with a link to his page. This is the Rin tutorial on how to flash your phone here. Just scroll on down here. If you need the link, just look at the details to, of my video. And right there, click on that link. It's going to redirect you to this page here. And you want to download this file here, the HPL3 package. Just go ahead and click save file. You, you press OK. I'm not going to download this. And the other program that we're going to need is the ROM, the 2.13 ROM, which you could find on Google. All you got to do is type T-Mobile HD2 update. That's it. Click search. The very first link, which should look like that. Go ahead and click that. Just scroll down. No, thanks. Go ahead and just scroll down here, and you're going to find the link to the ROM. Click on that, and what we're looking for is the HD update. Get software. It's prompting me yes or no right now. You you won't see this on the video. I'll press no. All right. Available available download. Yeah, right here. Just going to scroll down, and click T-Mobile software version, two point one three. It's going to ask you for the IMEI number which is the number that could be found in the back of the box that came with the HD2. If you don't have the box anymore, don't worry about it. You could also find this ROM on XDA. I'll, I'll provide you with a link in the details also, which will prompt you to this page here. And if you scroll down, you'll see 2.13. You want to click on that and go to download that right there. Of course, I'm not going to get it because I already have it. Just cancel that. And we're ready to flash. All right, what we're gonna do is keep in mind this is a video of my phone. That way y'all could see what's going on with the phone when this is happening. Remember the antivirus off, your SD and SIM card should be off as well. And if you're running the Vista or Windows 7, you're gonna have to click and press run as administrator. If you're running XP, you don't have to worry about this. Just go ahead and click on that. It's gonna prompt you yes or no, click yes. And we will get this page here. Click next. Keep in mind your phone will turn off right here. And it's going to go into a bootloader mode. Don't worry about it. It's supposed to happen. And now we are prompt to choose one of the following two. The first one is 2.08 2.08 HPL which is what we first installed to flash our phone. We're going to choose the 2.08.000000. Go and click next. Successfully done. Okay. The phone is now booting up. And don't forget to also make sure that you have your mobile center. Where is that? Right here. Windows Mobile Device Center. Click on that. Make sure your phone is connecting with your computer. Don't register. Minimize that. Now we're ready to flash the original ROM. Once you flash this original ROM here, it's Gonna look like you never mess with the phone at all. So you will just right click on the link there and click run as administrator. And it's gonna prompt you yes or no, click yes. And 
this should take a little bit of time here. Also make sure your battery is over 50%. If not, it's not gonna work. Just click next. The good thing about this ROM here is it's gonna flash both the ROM and it's gonna flash your radio. So you won't have to reflash another radio to bring it back to the stock mode. Click next, next, update, next, and next. All right, take note that the phone did turn off here, went into bootloader mode. And there you see the progress bar going up. It's, it's gonna take a while because it's a very large file. All right, that should be it. Once this finishes up, I'll pause it for now and I'll bring it back when it's about to finish up. All right, guys, it's about to finish up here. Don't forget before the phone turns off. Well, when, after the phone turns off, it's gonna boot up again. And you want to do a hard reset, which is just make sure you have the the volume buttons pressed down both up and down. Keep it turn off, hold them down at the same time. I I missed it actually. Let me just take off the battery and put the battery back on. No biggie, you guys don't get it the first time, just, well, or the third time, I guess. My first video, so bear with me, guys, bear, bear with me. All right, there we go. All right, both volume up and down at the same time when you before and then turn it back on. So I see you want to erase the memory. You, you all can't see that right there, but it's just text on there. There you go. So it's going to click up and it's erasing the memory. Progress bar showing. You guys can't see that again. There we go. And just press up again to master reset. And that's it. When your phone boots back up, it's gonna boot up to the original ROM with the original radio. And we're done. Oh, and if you found this useful, go ahead and give credit to these guys here. M skip for his tutorial. Right here, you could program run correctly. Donate to him or to the guy who provides us with the ROMs. This guy right here, right there. And that's going to be it, guys.